That comes into play when we try to compress or factor our perfect square trinomial. So that perfect square trinomial now reduces to t, my b over 2 value, minus 15. Don't forget to put the square there because this is a quadratic function, so it needs that little 2 on the side. And then we can go ahead and add these values, 9,750 plus 2,250 is 12,000, positive 12,000. So I know that my vertex, when x is equal to 15 seconds, y is equal to 12,000 meters. So the maximum altitude, whenever you have a word problem, you have to always write a written statement. The maximum altitude uh, reached by the aircraft is 12,000 meters. Okay, so this kind of overlaps. It's a little bit more challenging question that you did in Unit 7, but we're still we're overlapping that idea of using the vertex form of the equation to find maximum and minimum points. However, what you didn't do in Unit 7 was use the factored form of the equation and standard form of the quadratic equation. So we're going to do a little bit more of that. This is a problem, the abstract problems like this in the guide. Uh, so I wanted to do one question with you. First of all, we're going to actually draw the problem out. Another engineering type problem. The highlighted portion is going to refer to the base of the parabol parabolic bridge is 40 meters wide. So if I'm taking this bridge that I want to create and I want to transpose it onto a graph, that means I'm going to use 0, 0 to represent one end of the bridge. And the other end of the bridge, because it's 40 meters wide, this is going to be 40, 0. So now I have the x-intercept nicely laid out. And I can plug in all the other information that I'm given. We have to determine the height of the bridge uh, 12 meters from the outside edge. So we're trying to find the height of the bridge 12 meters from the outside edge. So 12 meters from the outside edge, if this is 12 meters, what is 100, what is 40 minus uh, 12? Yep, Arabic. Sorry, uh, close 20, 28. So we're actually trying to find when x is equal to 28, I don't know. I'm trying to find what my height is going to be. When x is equal to 28, what is going to be my y value? But I can't solve this just with the x-intercepts. I need one more piece of information, and they do give me that piece of information. If the height 5 meters in from the outside edge is 8, so that I know when x is equal to 5, this is not going to be too scale or anything, but this point on the graph, when x is equal to 5, y is equal to 8. So that's drawing it out to visualize it. Of course, 5, I mean 8 and 28, this graph should be a lot larger but I don't have room on the smart board to actually draw it, so I'm, I'm doing a rough sketch here. Now I'm actually going to use um, what I know about the factored form of a quadratic equation. So, y is equal to a x minus r x minus s. I know that. Uh, I know I don't know what my a value is. However, one of my x-intercepts, so remember these numbers represent the actual value of the x-intercept, 
Over here I have zero, zero, so one of them is going to be x minus zero, and one of them is going to be x minus 40. So when you actually write that out, y is equal to a, x minus zero is just x, and multiplied by x minus 40. So what we're going to do, because I can't really solve this question without figuring my unknowns, I have to figure out the value of the A, which represents vertical stretch. So I'm going to substitute, oops, we're going to substitute the information that I do know. I substitute my point when x is equal to 5, y is equal to 8, because that's the point that I know exists on the graph, and we're going to substitute it into the equation that I just wrote down. So instead of y, I'm going to substitute the value 8 is equal to a times my x value. My x value is 5 and x minus 40 would just be 5 minus 40. So when you do that, 8 is going to be equal to a times 5 times negative 35. 8 is going to be equal to negative, I mean 35 times 5 is negative 175a. If we divide both sides by negative 175, I know that my A value is negative 8 over 175. And I can't reduce that further, so we're going to keep that as our A value. I'll give you a second to finish copying that down. So now, in my factored form of the equation, I know pretty much all the values, and I can use that to solve for this point that I'm looking for, the negative 28, sorry, when x is equal to 28, what is my y value? So let's go ahead and copy, I'm going to copy down the equation again, except this time I'm going to include the a value. So y is equal to, instead of a, you're going to write down negative 8, over 175 times x times x minus 40. Okay. And what we need to solve for when x is equal to 28, what is my y value? That's all I'm looking for. When x is equal to 28, what is the height of the bridge? So I don't know my y, but I do know everything else. Negative 8 over 175 times my x value, which is 28 over 1, times x minus 40, which is 28 minus 40. Simplify that a little bit more, and we get negative 8 over 175 times 28. 28 minus 40 gives me negative 12. And now all you have to do is plug all the information into your calculator and you get a final answer of 15.36 meters. The height of the bridge is 15.36 meters. Okay? So that is a very long question. Guaranteed you're going to get something like this in one shape or another. There's different forms of this in your unit guide, but you cannot just skip it because you don't understand it. You do have to come to a math teacher and really make sure you understand how to draw and how to solve, use the factored form to solve this type of question because it will definitely show up on your test, okay? And that is an actual question from your unit guide that you can look at. Uh, I'll